Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when either pride will take over to say, I'm going to hold mm-hmm. on to my mm-hmm. my upsetness that's really not <laughs> based that. in nothing. <laughs> I love that. The upsetness. Uh, upsetness mm-hmm. or go. Mm-hmm. So I was like, so I got my pocketbook and I went and stood next to my husband. Mm-hmm. Co Pastor Susie preached. She said, change your perspective. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait a minute. So I was madder. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because she needed to preach to him. Right. Because he was getting on my nerves. But the <laughs> word was change your, your perspective. perspective. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did she just tell me I was wrong? <laughs> she said, you need to get yourself together. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I was convicted. Like, stop focusing on him. Right. Mm-hmm. Change your perspective and you do what you need to do mm-hmm. as a wife. And God will deal with him. You Absolutely. believe he's a man of God? You believe he got the Holy Spirit inside of him? You change your perspective and stop looking at it from that angle. It was I was mad. I was upset because I kept looking at it from this one angle. Mm-hmm. And when she said change your perspective, I had to flip it and look at the other side of the issue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After sir, well, during, at, By the end of service, I held his hand. <laughs> stop laughing at me. <laughs> That you, you, girl, you graduated. I when got, you held his hand, you, 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 that was graduation right there. I changed my perspective. Thank you, Holy yes, Spirit. Yes. Look, wait a minute. So after service, went back to the hotel and I went, I walked up to him. I said, You don't even know. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. He's looking like, What is going on? He had no clue. I said, You don't even know I was mad at you all week long. He was like, What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you're like, okay, really? You didn't even know? And in marriage, it is so good to look back because in that moment, you are hot. Mm-hmm. But when you can look back and you start laughing, thank at God yourself. I can look at my At yourself. At me. I looked at me. Mm-hmm. I said, you don't even know this. But I was mad at you all week long. He's looking at me. Do, do, do. Right. Like, oh, really? <laughs> what? what? Oh, really? <laughs> I had no clue. Mm-hmm. I said, but you're forgiven. <laughs> wow. Wow. But said, that's I'm real over talk. It. That's real I'm talk. Over it. That's real talk. Because for me, <laughs> and I can so relate, it's about the level of maturity oh in, my in, in your marriage, starting with yourself. And when you can look back, and this is why it's so important, I believe, to have uh, you know, couples who will give you their transparent yes. story, yes. not the made up story, yes. not the fixed up story, yes. but the transparent story and their marriage is successful. Yes. Now, you have some people who've been married for a long time, but their marriage is not successful. And they won't tell you nothing. Now, I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm looking at you, I'm thinking, they have no chemistry. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I, you know, I need to see some chemistry. Do you have chemistry after 35 years, or are you just showing up? Okay, because chemistry cannot be denied. Okay, and when you talk about chemistry, and I deal with this in the third chapter of my book, because a few years ago, Bishop Hanchel and I, we tag team a sermon series called Sex Bo- Sexpose, mm-hmm. where we expose different things going on in the mm-hmm. bedroom as it pertains mm-hmm. to marriages. And so you have some people that may have been married a short amount of time or someone married a long time that may not be able to have full intercourse. Right. So if that is the case, that is not an excuse to be intimate. And so chemistry is that it's, it's the continuation of that Im- that that intimacy. That's an excuse you mean not to be. Yeah, not no. to be intimate. Okay, Say, well, okay, we can't okay. because of health reasons. We can't be right, right, uh, right, fully okay. intimate. We want to make we want to get that clear. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's an excuse not to be not to be okay. intimate based okay. on health issues, mm-hmm. different things like that. That's not an but excuse. But intimacy is birth. And then you have to, that chemistry is is built based on what how your intimacy is. Yeah, yes. And so I heard a wonderful um, message on um, the Word Network. It's a show on there called Marriage Today by Jim Evans. He said, for those that say they don't have chemistry or they lack passion, mm-hmm. he said, I would challenge you that I bet you that your passion is directed at something else. Oh. He said your your passion or that chemistry, you have to give attention to it. Mm-hmm. You may be giving your attention to someone else. It might ooh, be the children. Ooh, ooh. It may be somebody on your job. Or that passion may be directed at your job. 
Well, whatever your passion is, that's where mm -hmm. that chemistry and that back and forth is going to be. So it is up to us to build that chemistry. So going back to the the scenario I just laid out between me and Bishop Hancher, when Co Pastor Susie said, "Change your perspective." A lot of marriages stop right there because the wife is not willing. The Lord spoke to my heart, told mm -hmm. me to be willing. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if I would have stopped that flow, that yep. chemistry would have stopped. Mm -hmm. I would not want to be intimate with him on an emotional level yep. and where the marriage will be stalled. Yep. And that's when the enemy can creep in to a stalled marriage and a stalled marriage will eventually stop. Well, okay. That's coming uh -huh. in the fall of this year. Chapter three. <laughs> we, we, we just want chapter three, okay? The other parts are the ancillary parts. We want <laughs> chapter three, okay? So she's going to come back in the fall. We're going to start off with chapter three. Okay. But listen.